Starting out this top 10 list is Erin Osman who made her money in the aerospace and defense industry. Erin's net worth as of November 26, 2024 is $4 billion and is ranked 864th worldwide. Erin is chairwoman, president, and majority owner of private aerospace and defense company Sierra Nevada Corp. In April 2024, she won a $13.1 billion contract from the U.S. Air Force to develop its next E-4 doomsday plane, which would run the military's response to a nuclear war. Sierra Nevada Corporation is set to launch its first flight of a cargo space plane called Dream Chaser in 2025. Erin Osman and her husband Fadi, both Turkish immigrants, bought SNC in 1994 when it had just 20 employees. Erin sold baklava and cleaned SNC's office building to put herself through business school at the University of Nevada, Reno. Next on the top 10 list is John L. Hunt. She is currently ranked the ninth richest woman in America. Her wealth comes from a long-haul trucking company called J.B. Hunt. On any given day, you can see one of those Hunt trucks driving across America. Her net worth as of November 26, 2024 is $4.8 billion and is ranked 716th in the world. In 1961, John L. Hunt and her late husband J.B., who died in 2006, sold their home and took out loans to start a rice hull packaging operation. Eight years later, the couple bought five trucks and seven trailers to launch a new trucking firm called J.B. Hunt. The Arkansas business went public in 1983 and is now one of the biggest transportation companies in the nation with $12.8 billion in sales. John L., who stepped down as corporate secretary in 2008, remains the firm's largest individual shareholder with an 18% stake. Also, the daughter of a poultry business owner, John L. studied to be a teacher at University of Central Arkansas before leaving to marry J.B. Hunt. Now moving on to the eighth richest woman in America, we have Gail Miller, age 80. Most of her wealth originated from owning car dealerships. Her net worth as of November 26, 2024 is $4,900,000,000 and ranks 774th worldwide. She owns the Larry H. Miller Group, which has interests in real estate, healthcare, finance, and entertainment businesses. She and husband Larry, who died in 2009, turned a single Toyota dealership into the eighth largest auto dealer group in America. Later, she sold it to Asbury Automotive in 2021 for $3.2 billion. The Millers purchased the Utah Jazz in 1986 for $22 million. In 2020, the family agreed to sell it to billionaire Ryan Smith, co-founder of Qualtrics, for $1.66 billion. Gale still owns a small stake of the Jazz franchise. In April 2023, Gale and her family announced they are leading a group of investors that hope to bring in Major League Baseball expansion team or an existing franchise to Salt Lake City. Next up is Marion Alich, age 91, who is the seventh wealthiest woman in America. Marion's net worth as of November 26, 2024 is $5 billion and ranks 892 worldwide. Marion acquired her riches by being the owner of the Little Caesars pizza chain which hauls in more than $5 billion annually. She also owns the Detroit Red Wings and the Motor City Casino and Hotel. The Detroit Tigers' major league baseball team is owned by a family trust. Alich is helping build a new sports and entertainment district in Detroit that includes a new headquarters with pizza-shaped windows. Sliding in next is Linda Resnick, age 81, who is the sixth wealthiest woman in America. She is the founder of Wonderful Company, an agriculture company located in California. Linda's net worth as of November 26, 2024 is $6,300,000,000. She is currently ranked 515th worldwide. From almonds to oranges in California's Central Valley to grapefruits in South Texas, Linda Resnick and her husband Stewart are worth billions from farming fruits and nuts. They co-founded and co-owned the wonderful company, among the largest farming operations in America. As a couple, they share a fortune worth an estimated $12.6 billion. Moving on to Elizabeth Uline, the fifth wealthiest woman in America. She made her billions as a packaging materials distributor. Liz's net worth as of November 26, 2024 is 6400000000 million. She's currently ranked 499th worldwide. Elizabeth Uline, age 78, is the president of Uline 
which is North America's biggest distributor of shipping, packaging, and industrial supplies. Headquartered in Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin, Uline sells 42,000 products via its 850-plus page catalog to businesses nationwide. Elizabeth, a.k.a. Liz, and her husband, Richard, a.k.a. Dick, started Uline in their basement in 1980. It now has 9,000 employees. Moving up the money ladder, we have Ty Lee, an IT provider. Her net worth as of November 26, 2024 is $7 billion. Her company is currently ranked 441st worldwide. Ty Lee, age 65, is the CEO of SHI International, which has more than 17,000 customers including Boeing and AT&T. Born in Bangkok, Lee grew up in South Korea and moved to the U.S. for high school. She was part of Amherst College's first freshman class with women. Lee's father, a prominent economist who traveled the world promoting his country's post-war development plan, was the first Korean to graduate from Amherst. Lee, also a student of Harvard Business School, did stints at Procter & Gamble and American Express. Coming to number three on this illustrious list is Judy Faulkner, founder and CEO of Epic Systems, a healthcare software company. Her net worth as of November 26, 2024 is $7,700,000,000. She's currently ranked 375th worldwide. Judy, now 80 years old, founded the medical record software company Epic Systems in her Wisconsin basement in 1979. She's also a computer programmer and the current CEO of Epic Systems. Epic supports the medical records of over 250 million patients and is used by top medical centers such as Johns Hopkins and Mayo Clinic. When the company first started, it was originally named Human Services Computing. With $70,000, she wrote the original code on a Data General Eclipse 16-bit mini-computer. The company has never raised venture capital or made an acquisition, and develops all its software in-house. Moving up the ladder is a giant pile of cold hard cash. It's Judy Love and family who take the number two spot with Love's travel stops and country stores. Judy's net worth as of November 26, 2024 is a ginormous pile of cash piled up to $13 billion, $100 million. She's currently ranked 172 worldwide. Tom and Judy Love founded the convenience stores in 1964. The couple leased their first gas station in Watonga, Oklahoma, using a $5,000 loan from Tom's parents. Love's has more than 640 stores in 42 states and estimated revenues of $24 billion. Unbelievable. Numero uno on the list is Diane Hendricks the co-founder of ABC Supply, or ABC Roofing Supplies. Her net worth as of November 26, 2024, is an astounding $21,900,000,000. She's currently ranked 90th in the world. Diane shares ABC Supply, one of the largest wholesale distributors of roofing, siding, and windows in the U.S. She co-founded the business with her late husband, Ken, in Beloit, Wisconsin in 1982. She has chaired it since his death in 2007. She led ABC to make the two biggest acquisitions in its history, buying rival Bradco in 2010 and building materials distributor LNW Supply in 2016. The company has over 900 branch locations and had $20.4 billion in 2023 revenues. Diane sold custom homes for a builder before meeting Ken, a roofer. As the saying goes, the rest is history. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can catch the next video.